Hi, it's Nancy welcoming you to Garden Scroll. Our pretty spring redbud trees are turning their colors of green now. They're in that transition stage where they're not really very pretty, but they will be a beautiful green soon. We'll have to say goodbye to the pretty purple. And the Forsythias have all but changed their colors from yellow to green. But even as they are going away, the lilac bushes are beginning to open up their pretty blooms. This lilac is called Sensation Lilac. And it has just a little bit, oh that wind is really going today, but hopefully we'll get some rain before it's all over. But this uh, Sensation Rose has a little bit of a white around the edge and they're very pretty. They have a light scent, but I'm not sure that they have a strong lilac scent as the old fashioned do. Of course I love them both. And the bridal spireas are looking great with their pretty white hanging down lands. Our little cherry tree is losing its beautiful white blooms too. They were the biggest this year that they've ever been so far. But they're going away. Soon there will be little green tiny balls on there that will turn into bright red cherries. This is my little Josie reblooming lilac and it does smell pretty. It's a much smaller lilac bush but it makes a big impact. And the snowball bushes are beginning to uh, well, they had snowballs, the little green ones, but they're beginning, some of them, to turn white. And the clematis or clematis are all beginning to open up, too. This one was so pretty yesterday. I couldn't wait to show it to you, and then I waited too long, and it's the wind has whipped it around till it's not going to come back out of it, but hopefully I'll get these for you when they open all the way up. And I noticed that this one is almost all the way opened. And here's some little darlings that are a little bit protected uh, by this pot from the winds. Aren't they pretty? I think this one may be called Crystal Fountain. And I'm seeing the uh, Arkansas Star Flower is also putting on little blooms. And here's another Clematis or Clematis that is starting to open. And this little tree my husband was wondering if it's going to come out of it at all, that it may have died through the winter. And I told him, let's wait and give it a little more time. Sure enough, today I'm noticing some green on it. Not a lot of green though, so I'm not sure if it will all come out. But actually I do see some buds up there, so I'm thinking this will also come out and be a beautiful tree. This is another little penny that almost took everything, all of it, to give to my granddaughter, which will be fine because she will love it and care for it. But luckily, I did get two, two beautiful buds that will open up, I'm pretty sure, to make. These are the biggest of the pennies that I have, biggest I've seen when they open. And the columbine is beginning to open its little bloom. 
I did fix this little pot together, but it's the only other one I've got so far with the winds being so strong and I've just been so busy trying to clean up the old dead debris out of the garden. And I do have almost all of the back. I still lack quite a bit in the front, just the pots. Isn't this a beautiful color, Petunia? And these are still looking fairly good. Now some of the little ones that I put in this little strawberry drop coleus, I had several there in the back and I don't think they're going to make it. As well as the ones here in the front, they're just, just not going to make it. But I'll, I'll either, I have a few more that I don't know whether I should try putting them out here or not. They just don't seem to be able to handle. They can't handle this really rough winds. If we could get some calm days, they'd get a good chance to get started. They would work, but we'll see how that will be. But I hope to get them started on this side of this little pot. But of course, I'm hoping that the winds will calm and that we'll get some wonderful rain to soften up the ground for the garden to really thrive and do well. That would just be wonderful. And this is Major Wheeler Honeysuckle that I have on this old umbrella clothesline that I'm using for a trellis. It's looking good. Today is April the 24th and more things are blooming and I still need to take plastic bags off <laughs> but I just wanted to show you some of the things that are blooming right now including my golden chain tree when I saw these blooms I thought why does not everybody have a tree like this growing at least one in their yard but I think I'm beginning to learn maybe because it is susceptible to webworm and I don't know what has happened to it but as you can see part of it is dead a big part of it is dead just this one little limb actually is the only one I see that that lived and there might be another one down closer to the bottom but we're going to cut this off and see if it won't keep going from this this one side and I don't mind that it's not a big tree but just a little tree and all it's spring beauty would be great my plan for this coming week is to get out here and try to get some of these pots cleaned out and have the old stuff cleared away and out of them so that I can begin to plant new stuff and even if they're not planted if I can just get the old dead stuff away from it these hostas are going to do some shining all on their own I'm so happy to see that my hydrangeas are coming back and I've had a really hard time getting them started but this one has actually made a couple of blooms so hopefully it will bloom again this year and this one is the lace cap hydrangea it also is coming back nicely and this one is one of the oak leaf hydrangeas and i've tried several of them this is the first one that i've got to come back and look this nice the beginning of spring and i'm hoping it will take off and one day become a great big beauty not as big as some of them get but it still should be a good enough size to make a real impact in the garden. I don't know if I showed you this. I showed you where we cut down our pampas grass and that I said I didn't see any coming back but wow is it coming back. This morning I also noticed that we have some iris in bloom. We did not however get our rain. It missed us completely again, so I'm certainly hoping for rain soon. Some of the pennies are beginning to open. This little bottle spirea has opened up 
with even more beautiful white bloom. And I was noticing while I was watering that this Liadula is budded out really big and will soon be in bloom. And this little pink Liadula already has blooms. Sweet William is beginning to start blooming. The perennial compacta alyssum is beginning to bud and bloom out. Dianthus is beginning to bloom and I need to get some of this and put in some of my pots that uh, where it didn't come back. A lot of the smaller pots don't always come back because they don't have enough even though they are perennials. They just are not protected enough in a tiny little pot. But these work wonderfully in there to just take a little piece of it and let it start growing all over again. This is a little nest of a red bird. So hopefully we'll have some babies in there soon. And this is new growth of a uh, crepe myrtle. This is my peppermint lace crepe myrtle. And of course this is where I still have not got my my plants planted and I probably won't again today because I plan on cleaning out some of the front getting those already last year's things out of my pots so my hostess can shine but the garden is greening up spring will be in full swing even though we're still having some cool days but I'm okay with that because I know what it's going to be like when it's just hot out here and it's usually a good thing for it to be a little bit cool when you're cleaning all that old debris out because it does make you get hot doing all that work so this is before and hopefully I'll get it cleaned out and show you an after picture also Okay, so I've got it cleaned out and it looks so much better. It looks good even without all the pretty flowers and all the empty pots, but soon it'll look even better when they're all filled out. But it just looks, I did put my heather in this, so I always love the purple Mexican heather in this little turquoise can. They just look good together. And then I did get out one of my... Um, spikes that I had saved inside and put in this pot and I'll finish filling this out with some pretty colors I'm getting anxious as you can tell but I've, I'm going to um, and I trimmed back my hydrangea just a bit where the old dead stuff was and, and I glued some things together and of course took some uh, plastic off things so it's looking good but even as I say that I didn't get very far I barely started on this side so we'll take a before and hopefully by the end of the day there will be an after that I can show you that will be without all these well actually I got a little bit of it but a lot of it is still looks like this so we'll hopefully get some of it cleaned out today it is april the 27th and i still didn't get finished but i got a long ways on it it's cleaned out pretty much all the way to the end of this one but i didn't get i didn't get this little part right here done and i actually had to take today off of um gardening for other things I had to get done so but I plan on getting back out here tomorrow if I possibly can and we do have chances of rain again 
uh, in the next few days so I'm hoping that we get some of that wonderful rain but everything does look better with the, out the old dead debris everywhere underneath it or all around it <laughs> and soon I'll be getting my inside plants back out here but I don't know if it's a good idea to do it before well hopefully before the rain so they can get some of it but we're supposed to have one really hot day so I'm just going to wait and some extra windy days that just would not be good for those little fragile plants right now and one of my friends gave me a bunch of thyme. I've got to get that in the ground and hopefully some of it will live for me. I even would like to put some of it in these little pots right here that I'm, I'm having to glue. I glued these back on which they're, they're solid and ready to go now anyway. But um, we do want to put some in these little pots and maybe some of my other little pots too. Let me show you some of the other things I did yesterday as well as to uh, clean out that side of the house there in front. And I put these little Arkansas Insomnia or Star Flower. I had some coming up around my main little bush in the back and so I took it and put it in these pots here in the front. This one. And this one they have a pretty little blue bloom on them in the early spring but the rest of the time they'll just be a pretty little green and I may put something around them for color but they look good just the green in the pretty pots I'm anxious to get this little pot filled. Last year this was my first pot that I filled. And this year the clematis or clematis around it is looking so good. And this would just top it off if I had pretty flowers in this top part. The pretty blue cat lint is looking good today. And I set this little pot up again. I've already shown you that I did it once and it fell off. The wind got so high it just blew it over. But uh, hopefully it'll stay for a while. And I put it back together and put this pretty little, look at this pretty African daisy. Love the color. And then this is a little verbena and it is I think it's a peachy color. It's a very pretty color and I think it'll pick up the peach part of the color that's in the African violet. I also watered some and you can tell that it's just brought out things like this this beautiful pink peony and one thing I had to get was some more glue so I need to glue some things back. Not much use to just set it up there. The wind will have it blown away before I get back to it, most likely. But I'll get that glued in before very long. Peonies are either uh, just budded out everywhere or already in bloom. A few of them are already in bloom. I didn't actually show you the one over here. So I'm going to have to backtrack a bit so you can see this beautiful one over here. This is usually the first one that blooms for me. Oh my, and it's already closing up. It's closing up. It was open earlier, so I'll have to get you another shot of this <laughs> at another time because it's just like a whole different flower when it opens. And this is the little uh, uh, Arkansas star, star flower that I took some pieces off of to put in those front pots.
but what I was going to show you is that I did put some pots together back here in the back and this one is this is of course a uh, geranium this is a dianthus that came back from last year this is angelonia and right in the center is that pretty bright lights charred with some beautiful diamond frost euphorbia by the side of it and another little dianthus on either side and this clematis is also in bloom this is called the president and it's the first one that ever bloomed for me the one I have a connection with Cassie because she and I saw its first bloom together. It always, or most usually always, blooms around Mother's Day. And I'm just now noticing that this pretty little Baptisia or false indigo plant is also in bloom. And they are its bloom. That's its bloom. It looks like a bud, but it just pretty little white fat buds all over a, a beautiful green with lighter green color in it. It's very pretty. I'm noticing also that this little clematis is trying to open up in places. And this is another one that I went ahead and put together and I put my uh, redhead coleus in here. I love this coleus and I, I'm hoping I didn't put it where it won't get light sunlight because I want it to have some sunlight and I think it will get some here uh, because it always lights these beautiful garnet dark up into bright ruby colors and then one of my favorites is always the calabachoa I don't know if I can keep it or how long I can keep it but I'm going to give it another try I don't think I could ever get totally away from it unless of course it's financially just couldn't afford to do it at all as long as it's a possibility I'll probably give it a try I just love these little hanging down beautiful blooms not only this color but every color i thought this one really looked good with this dark red redhead coleus also put together these little uh, pots although you can really hardly tell that there's anything in there because most of it's smaller else it's just a little uh, clipping that I don't even know if it'll make it or not but I'm gonna give it a try and see if they want sometimes they can look this this badly and then build a root and you can clip the old dead stuff off and they'll come up new and beautiful from the root so I'm hoping that will happen but this is another reason I didn't get more done is because the plants that I ordered came in these are sedum I'm hoping they will do well in these pots and even come back every year they can but this last year we had almost a totally dry winter and a lot of my stuff in pots did not come back and then of course I put this little um, caliber or mini petunia in here another one of my favorites these are um, ursine I R S I N E and they're a very pretty plant too this is just a little um, lily of the valley but I'm hoping they will work in these pots um, this too is just a little lily of the valley and if it will just put a little dot of green up there I think that will be pretty and then this is what is this one full to glow and it's a just another little sedum 
So I'm trying to get sedum started. This one actually did come back from last year. I had tried to get it started in all of these, but this one I think is the only one that it actually came back in. This one I'm trying some, um, some of the Widow's Tears plant and then this one actually came loose from its box in transit so it's not looking so good but I think it will pick up and do well and this is just another little uh, clipping from the window so hopefully and but if it does well and is able to live and make it it's a beauty it's just it's that color saurus that I I found several years ago and I just wouldn't want to be without it it's so bright and pretty doesn't look like much now but this is just the beginning and as I was showing you those I noticed over here that this clematis is also in bloom and this is a favorite of mine too just because it is so so dark so dark purple that it's just almost black I don't know if I showed you how full this little uh, hosta is. I think I showed it to you, but I think it was still just barely coming out and not looking nearly as full and lush and pretty as it does right now. It's big enough I could probably even take some of it and put it elsewhere, but it would be better if I would do that at an earlier time. I tried to do that once when it was this full and it just literally took all the green off of it and left the root so that wouldn't be the way I would want to do it of course and the pretty little dianthus are blooming around the picnic table and this may be this is where I would like to put some of that thyme because you, it does handle quite a bit I've heard of foot traffic and of course there'll be some foot traffic around the picnic table so I'm hoping to get some of it started here ground covers are so good for things like this because if you don't have a ground cover you're going to have weeds growing up and I I would like to get it where I had no weeds at all of course that may not happen but the fewer the better Look, even this tiny little peony has got buds on it. And these are still looking good. It won't be too awfully long, hopefully, till we have all the pots filled out and gorgeous bloom everywhere. This is Dianthus that came back from last year. Everything in this pot came back from last year. These, of course, are the new ones that I put in from nurseries this year's uh, picks. And I do want to put a little something else over here on the side of this because it's just not quite full enough for me, but, but I like it. Love this color. And also, I'm noticing that this little clematis is opening with pretty bloom. This one's still looking good. This one looks really good. It likes a cooler weather, and it's been a little bit cool. Tomorrow is supposed to be warm. Uh, some areas up to 90 degrees in the high 80s and 90s but then that tomorrow night we have a chance of it getting a little cooler and hopefully bringing us in some rain some much needed rain I also uh, took one of my hostas from around front there where I was cleaning out and I divided it and put a piece of it here and I put a piece in just a little giveaway pot for my friend Ruby and I'm, I think it looks really good here. I hope they will just continue to do well. I'm going to see if I can sneak up on our little red bird or our cardinal. 
I don't know if she's over there, but if she is, she'll fly when I get too close to her. She's been doing that. And she is over there. I don't know if I can get her for you, but I'll try. You see that little red dot right there? That's her beak. <laughs> And she may be going to let me just get her picture this time. So that's fine. I'm going to back away and try to leave her alone. So while we were out today shopping, I had to stop at some nurseries. I'm ready to do my impatience because I have quite a bit of shade in the front and I'll want to put those in that area. And I got several because I have several pots that I want to just fill up with impatience. And I'll show those to you after I get them going good. Look at this beautiful iris. I also purchased another Kong coleus. Not sure where I'm going to put it, but uh, I'm anxious to get these in. In the ground, I even purchased a few more seed them and I have some of this usually I just take it from where I have it and get it started someplace else but they just did so badly this year because of lack of rain that this looks so much better to get something started with and look at this I hate to show you this I certainly hate to show my sister Rose this because these it's another one of my um house plants that I took inside for the winter and they did so great I was so proud of them right up until the first part of March and they began to die and were all gone by the end of March this one wasn't totally gone but I thought maybe if I put it outside it might do better but there's no hope for it it's just going to be a goner it's it's not going to live so I don't know what to do But right now I'm giving up, but I'm, I'll probably try again sometime, but I've got to figure out something different to do. There's no use to, to try them without doing something differently. The hardy of Marilis are about to bloom. Please be sure to like and to subscribe to the channel.